what's up, weirdos? And <laughs> well, we're sitting here getting passed by scooters in a hurry. <laughs> it's time to ride the FXR to the ride factory to do chopper stuff. Man, Scoot's got somewhere to be. Oh, and apparently her parents aren't home because this guy is on a mission. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. I dig it, man. <laughs> it fucking looks like it, dude. <laughs> I dig it, man. <laughs> oh, I dig your style, man. Gotta tell you, kid, I dig your enthusiasm. <laughs> I like that, man. Kid's just stoked to be on two wheels. Love it. Anyway, where were we? Hey, you haven't seen the chopper on the channel for a while. I haven't been doing much with it because I've really had a lot of issues with uh, going from the two to one, having the one carburetor. While it is absolutely easier to tune, that single carburetor really wasn't up to the task. I mean, yes, it took me to Alabama and back, but it develops this, I don't know, I don't know what it is. I've cleaned it, I've taken it apart, I've put it back together. It develops this weird runoff idle where you'll rev the bike up and it wants to run on. I'm really not sure what's causing it, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what's causing it because I'm about to kill an ant with a sledgehammer. So I don't have to diagnose my carburetor issues. These old Makunis, they're, not, they're very simplistic. I really don't want to use it anymore. We're putting Electron on the chopper. Real quick before we hit the ride factory, gotta drop some sticker orders off. Lee Stewart's currently making more t-shirts literally as I speak. Yo! Alright, today, like I said, we're killing an ant with a sledgehammer. You know, when you have car problems, there is one way to absolutely make sure you never have another carburetor issue, and that's put a Lectron on your motorcycle. Literally, uh, these things just pretty much fix everything. So if you're having problems with your jetting or if you're having problems with your idle or anything like that, uh, here you go. This carb doesn't have any jets. So there's no jets on this carb. Everything works off a metering rod. There are people who are much smarter than I am who've explained it much better than I am. If you've ever wondered how electron carburetor works, this is the video for you. So the heart of the electron carburetor is this special metering rod. And this is essentially a steel rod with a tapered grind on it. The flat side of the metering rod faces the engine. So not only is this Electron gonna solve all my jetting issues in so much as it has no jets, uh, I actually think it looks really cool. So it's gonna look crazy as hell. I got that single carb set up on the side of the bike. This thing is gonna be hanging off there. I might even run it with no air filter. I don't know, it's a chopper. You can run choppers without air filters, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally. I know, I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I think this thing's gonna look wild on there. Uh, let's get it on, start the bike up, and see how she runs. And of course, for everybody who's been bitching about my FXR music, now you can bitch about my chopper music being back. All right, let's get rid of this carburetor. I'm really stoked about putting the Electron on there. I think it's gonna look freaking awesome. Let's talk about easy installs. <laughs> there we go. Dude, this thing looks wild on the side of the bike, man. I love it, dude. I think it looks super freaking cool. So we'll find out here pretty soon, but I'm gonna see if I can use my Biltwell Whiskey Throttle, but I was I just wanna point out that the Electron kit did come with its own throttle tube, which I thought was pretty cool, and we'll see if I have to use it or not.
wasn't much of a chopper build episode, but uh, hey, the Electron's on there. It runs good. I was having trouble getting into idle, but then I realized I had the screw turned out way, way too far. So once I got the idle screw where it needed to be, man, it freaking starts right up. Yeah, I gotta get the chopper back into fighting shape because it's supposed to be in a show this Friday. So that's only a few days away. You guys know me and the chopper, man. I'm always cutting things pretty close with that thing. Yeah, I don't have the fender back for Mo. <laughs> I just put a new carburetor on it. I haven't ridden it in weeks, but eh. yeah, let's go ahead and put it in a show in a few days. All right, guys, that's going to about do it for this episode. So here's the thing. Like I said, I'm getting the chopper ready to take it to Chopperama. Uh, follow them on Instagram, by the way. I'm getting ready to take it to Chopperama, which is a chopper show at Gibsonton Bike Fest this coming weekend. So this video should be out Wednesday, fingers crossed. And uh, I'm going to be at Gibsonton Bike Fest on Saturday and Sunday. And the reason I wanted to get this video out right away is we are doing a ride. We're doing a meetup and a ride to to Gibsonton Bike Fest. So if you want to meet up with me and Flip and Brian from the Ride Factory, we are actually meeting up at the Ride Factory at 9.30 a.m. in Ybor City. I'll have the address all listed down below. This is this coming Saturday, January 18th. There's going to be coffee and donuts. We're meeting up at 9.30, but we want a chance to kind of hang out there before we leave. So it's not going to be kickstands up till about 11. So we'll be hanging around there. If you guys want to come, hang out, say hi. All motorcycles are welcome. As you saw in this video, I don't care what you're on as long as you're on two wheels, man. So show up on your scooter, show up on your sport bike. I don't care. I love everything with a motor and two wheels, and even some things without motors. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Make sure you're following the Ride Factory on Instagram and Chopperama. It's gonna be a really great time. Gibsonton Bike Fest is always a blast. Like I said before, I'll have all the relevant links and the Ride Factory's address in the description down below. So there'll be info there. There'll be info on Instagram. Hope I see you guys there. And until next time, y'all, keep it weird.